Hey everyone, Hedger Gamer here, and of course, welcome back to another video. We are doing another ranking video this time. Since the release of Terminator Dark Fate, I will be r ranking the entire Terminator series. Which ones are from worst to best, which ones are my favorite, which ones are my least favorite, and that. You get the point. But anyway, um, let's just get on with the video. Number 6 is Terminator Salvation. Yeah, pretty much the worst Terminator movie <laughs> there is. And yeah, one well, of my problems with the film is that, like, I know of John Connor. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I think Christian Bale actually plays good as um, John Connor. But the problem is that he really doesn't get enough screen time. And even with this movie, it doesn't have, like, a, um, a bad guy with a bad guy, or good guy, sorry. It's so mostly protected and innocent, probably a bad guy. Yeah, most of this just goes onto a war. There's no main villain or anything, nah. Which is pretty just disappointing, yeah. This is pretty much one of the most disappointing Terminator movies, uh, and pretty much the worst. But yeah, even with that, I know that Arnold Schwarzenegger does get a cameo in this film. Though I'm guessing, yeah. Even if you do want to count this film, but maybe not. But yeah, anyway, number six is Terminator Salvation. Number five is Terminator Genesis. Yeah, with well, this film is like another bad Terminator movie. Like with this one, I know that the um poses, yeah, or well, one of the poses does spoil the entire movie with um John Connor, yeah, played by um Jason Clark, who is like the main villain for the film, as he's like a T three thousand. Yeah, and then we have like Matt Smith who is kinda of like the main villain who is Skynet or T five thousand for that matter. But yeah, even with this one, it was pretty kind of the boring one. Yeah. Even with like John Connor as a villain this time, and yeah, even under that we have like Arnold Schwarzenegger, or you know, the um, T-800 who's like very old, since you know Arnold Schwarzenegger is getting older than that. But yeah, with this film, I did not find it entertaining at all. Yeah. And yeah, let's see what else is there. I know though it's like, um, you know, the younger versions of um, Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese, and yeah. Even with that, I know that, like, the Terminator does survive, like, that, you know, um, you know what I'm saying, the, um, kind of time travel thingy that somehow survives, with, like, since the detection of metal and that, if, you know, if you've seen all the Terminator movies. But, yeah, Terminator 5, or Terminator Genesis, is number 5. Number 4 is Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Now, yeah, there was most people out there that don't really like this movie, there was something like it. For me, I thought it was okay, but yeah, since all my problem was like, I know we have like a new, which I think introduces a female Terminator into the film series, it's like the um, TX, as it's known as, and yeah, even with this film, it does like, have like, uh, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, even, I think most people did hated the casting, like, um, yeah, performances by Nick Stahl, who is John Connor. And I think the other actress, yeah, Claire Danes or Danes, I know I'm butchering that, as Sarah Connor. But yeah, you don't know that. That uh, famous all. God damn it. I'm sorry, you. Yeah. But that famous um, Arnold Schwarzenegger quote thing, Dog to the Hand. But yeah. That's pretty much all I have for that one. So yeah. Number four is Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Number three is Terminator the Dark Fate. Yeah, there are some mixed reviews for this film, but for me, I did like this movie, since I did rate it a 7 out of 10, but it's not a bad movie after all, it's still a good movie. But yeah, even with this, I know we have like a kind of Terminator kind of girl, but mostly it's not, but just cybernetically enhanced. And you know, with the other Terminator, which I think, I can't really, I really forgot its name already, but yeah. There's like a shapeshifter in that, or who can summon a doppelganger of himself to the uh, trunk, yeah. Track or something or hunts, but, but yeah, even with this film, I'm glad it did bring back, like, you know, um, yeah, Linda Hamilton, if I can remember that. <laughs> no, I'm not really good, but yeah, just give me a second. So yeah, I did actually pronounce it right, but yeah, with Linda Hamilton returning as Sarah Connor. Even with that, it does, like, kill John Connor in the first, in the first half. Yeah, with this film being a direct sequel to both Terminator 1 and 2. But yeah, even with this, this wasn't a bad movie after all. I would mostly, as I said, recommend you see it. But yeah, since I still had problems with the film, but anyways, number three is Terminator Dark Fate. So now, we're on the um, number, like, two on the list now, and even number one. But which ones are going to be? Is it either the original Terminator movie or Terminator 2, Judgment Day? 
But yeah, Immortal Duel is making the list of this. Um, so for my second one, it's going to be the original Terminator movie. This film, this is really the great highest grossing film that was ever made at the box office. Getting 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Even, yeah, with that, um, since, yeah, how do I say it right? But even with that, um, yeah, how do I say this right? But yeah, um, even with that, most of like Kyle Reese sent back in time to protect Sarah Connor, and, um, yeah, the T-800 sent back to kill Sarah Connor, which to prevent from John Connor being born. You know, with Carl Reese being the father of um, John Connor. But yeah, even this, it was one of the best sci fi action thriller and that movies out there. Even with the um, second film directed by um, James Cameron. Probably never knew it was the second one, but yeah. But I'm not going to explain why. Just go to his Wikipedia page and you'll find out more. But yeah, and with that, number two is the original The Terminator. And finally, the number one on the list is going to be Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Yeah, that's like one of the best Terminator sequels ever made. Really one of the best Terminator movies ever made. Yeah, it was like a, a, yeah, like a genuine, um, like, true movie, like, that a prequel, so a sequel, doesn't really matter, but yeah. Even though this was really one of the best Terminator movies, mostly as John Connor is like, the one to be protected by, um, yeah, you know, the T-800. Since yeah, he's like getting um, hunted by the T-1000, if that's what it was, I can't really remember much, but yeah. Yeah, which is kind of like the big way of introducing, yeah, you know, the T-800 as a good guy now instead of a villain, but yeah. Anyway, with that, um, I know since we have like famous quotes from like, Hasta la vista, baby. Even which one that recently became a meme, your foster parents are dead. But, yeah. It was like Linda Hamilton did return to play as um, Sarah Connor, but yeah, it was the T-1000, like, since of like, turning into liquids and that, and being a doppelganger, since, yeah, you know, Terminator Dark Fate and that, but yeah, you know. But yeah, even with this, I really love this movie a lot, yeah, really one of the best Terminator movies ever made, and yeah, a genuine, yeah, you know, thing to watch. Since they did release it in like cinemas since the release of Dark Fate, which yeah, I would love to see, but yeah, sadly didn't. But anyway, that is going to be it, everyone. That was my ranking of the entire Terminator series. What were you ranking the entire series out of, or you know, what were you ranking the movies? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, guys, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I'll talk to you guys in another video. Peace out.